Hello, everyone. Welcome. For some reason, I have a surprise face every time. Since I just uh, booted up the game, uh, so... No expression. No face expression. Just me. Playing a game. Like, I don't even have my eyes all, like... It's 9.40 where I am. I should not be... Having a sur Giving off a surprise fix face when my, like, face is like, uh... Eh. Like, eh. Anyways, where did I leave off? Alright. Malroth's still in jail. Okay, King, come back here. King. Stop praying. How... How now, KB? Ah, uh, it seems you have consumed the yourself to, uh... I provided you with. Luckily for you, from once that file came, come another, take it, my girl, and may it aid you well. Ho ho ho. Okay, another file. Say it once more, I'm the King of Moonbrook, the sign of Erdrick, and by the power of my legendary line, Atlas will be defeated. Of course, his matters he's descended from heroes. I wager one as mighty as he could strike down Atlas with a single blow. Ho ho ho, I'm no hero, Zara, my dear. As well as you know, our good friend KB, on the other hand. The blood of heroes courses. Jesus Christ. That was a loud vehicle. Uh. The blood of heroes courses through my veins, and with it, a strength beyond reckoning, KB. I wish for you to build a weapon capable of harnessing this incredible power. I shall explain to you what must be done. You only have. You have only to give my thoughts form. Give it to Malroth. Okay. Uh, power tower one. Oh wow, it's huge. Egad. Truly, you are a credit to your trade, KB. The Kazapal cannon I have long dreamed of shall be given form. You mean to build a Kazapal cannon? The weapon capable of combining the power of every citizen of Moonbrook and unleashing it upon our enemies? I thought it was mere myth. But this design does not look like a cannon emplacement to me. It is nothing more than a tower. What purpose could it possibly serve? If my understanding is correct, this is only one of three blueprints. Yes, two towers to provide the power and a third to... How's the cannon itself? I see, so this blueprint is for the first of the charging towers then. Ho oh, ho! Commendable work, young KB. Now allow me to deliver unto you my final commandment. Construct the Kazapple Tower and vanquish Atlas. Only with his my this my weapon can we lay siege to, uh or lay the monster's major general low and bring peace back to Moonbrook. We must uh, all work together to build it. When it, uh, is complete, the Kazapple Cannon will be a breathtaking structure. Not just a weapon worthy of a king, but one worthy of the sign of Erdrick. How now, KB? This is surely a moment of celebration, yet you wear such a stern expression. Does aught bother you? I beg your pardon? How much longer must Malroth stay in prison in the dungeon, you ask? Forgive me, KB. I know how close you two, the two of you are. Your friend's incarceration must be vexing indeed. But no, ma no matter how much uh, you have done for my kingdom, a wise king must heed his counsel. When Malwa fights, uh, he strikes more than fear into the hearts of more fear into the hearts of our, our own soldiers than those of our enemies. And then there is the matter of his lack of reflection in Bra's mirror. You need not fear for his safety. No harm will come to your friend. And when the time is right, he will be freed. Come, KB. His Majesty has spoken. Let us focus our efforts on building the Kazapple Cannon so that Atlas may be slain and this ugly business ended. Okay. 
I may be King Kibi, but I am first and foremost a man of Moonbrook. I too shall aid you in the tower's construction. We shall uh, need the materials to build it, though. I hesitate to ask KB to gather them again after all she's done for, for us this far, but... But nothing, dear Zara. We shall gather what resources we need to complete the blueprint. We will show you, young'uns, what it means to be a builder. That's the spirit, Jeremiah. What do you say? We make a contest of it. Which of us can gather the most? Oh, my. Ho, ho, ho. I see those two are full of vim and vigor, as always. Unlike you, KB, where are uh, our, uh, where is your usual uh, energy and cheer? Are you still worried about Malroth? I hear that Nessa was instrumental in convincing the king to lock him away in the dungeon. I wonder why she would do such a thing. Certainly, she has long expressed misgivings about Malroth's uh, aggressive attitude, but she knew his strength served us well in the field. Whatever the truth may be, I understand your true grin, KB, but fear not. I'm sure your friend will be freed soon. You just need to wait a little longer. Hmm. Lord Jeremiah and Jerome have been gone a long while, haven't they? Hope nothing untoward has happened to them. What do you say to this, Jeremiah? Finer marble you, you'll never see. Do you accept defeat? <laughs> of course they took a while. <laughs> They're old. The cotton and the wood I collected my may look plain, but the quality's unsurpassed. While you were gathering that fluff and kindling, just look how many blocks of castle wall I the people build. Anyone can build blocks like that, but these classical columns and big bold banners require real craftsmanship. Well, KB, I hope we've proved us old timers can still hack it. Y'all are almost about to hack it on the ground. That's everything in the chest. Eek, Lord Jerome, Lord Jermer Jeremiah, are you all right? Ho, ho, ho. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Commendable work, you two. Now that we have the materials, we can begin work on the Gazapple Cannon. People of Moonbrook, raise a cheer. Oh, okay, they're not dead. Completely. They're almost dead. Hip, hip, huzzah. I've been looking at our latest blueprint, my lamb, and it seems we need something called an orb of power to complete the structure. Myself and the other townspeople can build the tower, but you'll have to prepare this item. Sally, I'm the first to a clue where one would begin to look for such a thing. I believe I may be of assistance. To the north of Moonbrook Castle, atop a cliff, stands a singular statue of the goddess, gazing out into the ocean. She watches over a lighthouse that stands off the coast, and when thin it, rests the orb of power, taking an or take Anessa and Warwick with you, and uh, you should have no trouble retrieving this treasure. KB, let us leave any uh, discussion of uh, Anessa's role in this business with Malroth to later. Whatever she is, she's a fine soldier, and we will, may need her strength. Soon enough, the truth will the truth will out. I promise you that. Warwick, KB, uh, what are you two whispering about? Ah, uh, ha ha! Um, I was just complaining about how. Hun KB was complaining about hunger was that I was inviting her on the palliative properties of snow. Well then, please find this lighthouse and bring back the orb of power so that we can complete the blueprint and, uh, oh, we are counting on you. New destination has been added to the map. That's cool. Now I make some med a medicinal herb. Uh oh, I've managed to get three markedly medicinal leaves. Um. Oh, I don't need anything. Duh. Uh... Oh, I forgot how to jump. Uh... Store some potato. 
That is a lot of potato. I will take this. Y'all have fun. I did not mean to do that. Actually... Uh... No, I can't do that. I can't overclock to the next. Place a potato and cook it. And onwards. Uh... This way. <laughs> Haven't gone too much exploring this way, I think. A lot of snow hopping. <clears throat> oh. I have been here. This must be the statue of the goddess that his majesty told us about. But where's the beacon? I cannot see anything in the offing. <clears throat> I suppose we have no choice but to glide out in that direction and hope for the best. Uh... Be wary, KB. Whirlwinds are often sighted over these seas. Be sure to avoid them, or we may meet the same fate or face the same fate as the Air Force. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. So this is the lighthouse His Majesty told us of. But what the devil is it doing here? Let's see. Aha! There seems to be an entrance over there. Let's see where it leads us, shall we? In a second. Navaglobe? Uh, to the base of the beacon. Okay. That's neat. Oh, well, wait, is this? Look, a monster. Eek! Oh boy, we get to chase it. That's strange. When, whenever did that monster, wherever did that monster disappear to? Most suspicious indeed. But no matter. Come, let us press on. Oh. Thou who wouldst prove thyself a hero, enter in and trust thyself to thy fate. Okay. <laughs> I would do that. To savor the divine delight of bouncing to a higher height, leap, leap thou upon the spring of red and take care not to hit thy head. Or if thou wish to careen to even higher heights, choose green. Bounce once, bounce twice, bounce thrice, and soon thou shalt be of higher than the moon. 
What a strange poem. It must have something to do with those colored springs. Perhaps we sh uh, sh could use them to scale the building from inside and see what lies at the top. There must be a way to the higher floor somewhere around here. Come on, Kibi, let's work our way upwards and keep uh, Weather Eye out for the orb of power. Oh, here who doth come in knees, surrender not unto thy greed, thou shalt not find what what thou seekest, only pain and peril bleakest. Okay, so not here. It's just a uh, mimic. here damn it goes pretty high though oops damage. <laughs> again, but I'm afraid of, like, fall damage for some reason. Screen over that way. Whoops. Go no. There's a limit. Ow. Hello, hello. Is this the topmost floor, do you think? Wait, I, th I think I hear something. Scree hee hee, welcome, humans. That, though you think you got what you've. Th what it taketh to be a hero, do you? We shall soon see about that. Okay. Uh, monsters. 
Oh, little Kabumi monsters. Ow. I can really only hit the tail. I wonder if I can hit from behind. Yep. Ow. They do do melee. Ah, oh, he's out of MP. Just kidding. Monsters are defeated. Uh, Seed of Life. And... Orb of Power. Is that... Is that the orb of power? By Jove, I see the orb wasn't named or not. I can feel its energy from here. This shall surely aid us in defeating Atlas. Still, there's something I cannot comp comprehend. What was a such a treasure doing here in the first place? Who built this beacon and why? It sits alone in the ocean with naught else in sight. If s it somehow uh, seems not of this world, like something out of a dream. Does it matter? We have what we came for. Uh, let us return to the castle and complete the blue blueprint. Uh, I want to see outside though. Woo! Woo! So high up. Is there more? Probably not. Anyways. Huh. Wonder if there's a way up. And higher up. Nah. I don't see anything like treasure. I don't even think there's a way up. That I know of. Uh, anyways. Back to Moonbrook. Yep. Well done, my lamb. You found the lighthouse and brought back the orb of power. As soon as the townspeople have finished building the tower, you only have to add the orb to the top to complete the blueprint. Bloop, bloop. Anyway, or however, I don't mean to worry you, KB, but that I must confess. I have sensed a malevolent presence moving about the castle late. I cannot help but feel that malice and permissiveness may not be for the good of the kingdom, but as part of some evil doish scheme. Our chance of winning this war uh, increase. Our chances of war increase uh, by the day, and yet one of one among us still works with the enemy. However, this poor misguided soul is. It would uh, seem they care not who wins or loses. There must be another reason for their betrayal. Okay. These are kind of useless right here. Oh, that's cool. But is it really complete? Glad tidings, KB. The blueprint is finished. We need build 
we need but build one more charging tower and, and an emplacement for the weapon itself and our Kazapple cannon will be complete. What's that? You need to see uh, Malarold free from the dungeon, you say? You must tread carefully, KB. When it comes to dealing with traitors, timing is key. Become become impatient and play our hand too soon. All may be lost. For now, let's be happy that the first tower is complete. Well, almost complete. All that remains is for you to place the orb of, of power at the top on top of the dais. Okay. A spiff and work, KB. Now that the orb of power is in place, the charging tower is ready for action. His Majesty tells us that this tower and the one that we build next gather up energy from uh, the citizens of Moonbrook. Once charged, the two towers pass this energy to the Kazapple can itself, which can unleash it as a bolt of pure power. Speaking of power, KB, you must have much of it yourself. I speak not of your martial might, but your, your ability to inspire others. I have an idea that may help uh, lead our soldiers into battle. Just, uh, just as you leave the townspeople in, in the building work, I will speak to, with the king about it. You have uh, done us all proud, KB. Find, finer tower I never did see. That all that remains is to imbue it with the Everest, effer, effervescent energies of the, all the men and women of this fair kingdom. People of Moonbrook, gather hither. Raise your hands toward the tower. Offer up your strength in defense of your home. Oh boy, spirit bomb. <laughs> Akira, Akira Toriyama would be proud if he did not. Ins if he wasn't the one who was like inspired this. By Jove, I never knew we had so much power. As soon as, as soon as one more tower and the gun itself is built with overwhelming pow power, the well, the Kazapple can be filled. Come, KB, we must draw in yet more of the people's power. It is time to draw blueprint for the super power or super the second power. Bleh. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Gadzooks, is this the second tower you would have us build? It looks just as splendid as the first. Uh, completing this uh, blueprint will bring us one step closer to defeating Atlas and restoring peace to the realm. Uh, speaking of Atlas, I wonder why the fiend has not attacked us yet. With, with his colossal strength, he could finish us off at any time he liked. Atlas longs only for destruction. No doubt is he waiting for us to finish our building work so that when he strikes, there's all more to destroy. All the better to break our will. That does some, so, sound like something he would do. Such is the way of the children of Hargon. Be that as it may, it would be uh, remiss of us not to consider the alternatives. Our foe may have some other objective in mind. Whatever the case, maybe our best course of action is to still build the Kazapokin as quickly as we can. Indeed, and you can rely on us to do exactly that. Come everyone, Moonbrook needs you. According to his majesty, our second tower will also require a rather unique item, the Orb of Magic. I suggest you leave the bulk of the building to us while you hunt for this unusual artifact. Just like the last slot, I mean time. I believe I may once again be of assistance. The Orb of Magic sleeps within uh, Gwalin's Gate, far to the north of Munahan. The cavern itself has long since sunk uh, beneath the waves, but if you, Warwick, and Anessa all work together, I'm sure you won't let something like that stop you. Gwalin's Gate. I've never heard of such a place before. Nor did I know of the lighthouse. From which once did you gain this knowledge, your majesty? Come now, Anessa. It is not the place of a soldier to question their liege. Some things I cannot share even with my most trusted generals. Well, it seems that we all have our respective tasks. We shall continue the construction of the tower. KB, you must find Gwalin's gate and retrieve the orb of magic. Oh. The 
potato. Just in case. No, I don't need anything. But. Held. Yeah. Obviously, the king, who is the uh, spy. Oh, yeah, that's the sound of my one building getting. Uh, Destroyed. Oh, there's some monsters. Speak of the devil. to come over here, so... This place is practically unrecognizable. from uh, the first. I swear an oath to destroy. lump of gold. this come from? Okay, that fixes it. I'm learning. Okay, now time to hop. Oh boy, the king is gonna be the traitor all along, isn't he? So cowardly. Or something like that.
Sid Cave by Munahan. We shall see. Oh, a uh, puzzle. I don't know. Wayland's gate oozed to be a lovely little dungeon. Now it sunk beneath the waves. There would be something strange going on uh, with this world. Oh. Yeep. Humans, help. They're going to squish me. That slime was saying something about Wayland's gate. Perhaps it knows something about the place that might be useful. It's like it's fled into the water after it. You can swim? What are you going to do with me? I'll tell you anything. Don't squish me. Oh, I know. I bet you want the treasure hidden at the back of Goo Island's gate, don't you? It's a long way to Goo. If you can't breathe into water, you'll drown before you get uh, got halfway there. Maybe those big clams will come in useful. If you, can br if you breathe the air bubbles, they blow out. You might uh, make it all the way to the end of the tunnel. Go ahead and try it. Just watch for the men of war. If they sting you, you'll be uh, stung for some slime. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh. I'll just carry this with me. Of course.
Oh god. That is like half my house. <laughs> Set up the orb of magic. With this, we can complete the second tower. Jolly good. Let us return to Moonbrook Castle without delay. Uh. Oh, God damn it. Can't scoop that up just yet. Okay, lame. Oh, it just becomes rock. Rip. What's back here? I could probably just teleport if I don't see anything of use. It's nice that they put some depth into it all. <sighs> yeah, me too. Well, well, so you found the Gwalen's Gate and retrieved the Orb of Magic. Excellent work, KB. Ho ho ho! Second uh, tower is all but complete. Now we have the orb we can place in the final finishing touch. Mm -hmm. From whence did the lighthouse and the Gwellen's gate spring forth, you ask? Do you not recall, Builder, what I mentioned to you previously? I said that your time on this island may reveal to you that the dark secret is the heart of this world. <clears throat> Neither the uh, lighthouse or Gwellen's gate are what they once were. Moonbroke Castle, too, is not how it should be. Yes, it was once raised to the ground by Hargon's hordes, but the people returned. They rebuilt it. I know not how I know this, or what it might mean. All I know is that I know. Ever since I heard the peal of the builder's bell, a thousand clouded memories of this world arose within my mind. Just as many questions. I tend to get to the bottom of this riddle. Rest assured that I shall keep you apprised of the developments of my investigation. Okay. Uh, just for the funsies. Oh, 
Good, the blueprint. Ah, KB, just the woman I wanted to speak with. It seems the blueprint of her second tower is now complete. With these two structures and an emplacement uh, to hold the weapon itself, the Gazapple Cannon will finally be ready to fire. Of course, our latest building is lacking one finishing touch, the Orb of Magic. Okay. Me needs food. Oh. I hope everybody's getting good sleep and stuff. Is everybody playing Pokemon Sleep still? By the time this comes out, I doubt as many people will whoops, be playing because uh, it wasn't all that great at the beginning. Especially since it was like, uh, like, oh. For me, it would, uh... What's that word? Ah... Uh, it would just crash. That's what it would do. Like, you'd do a few things here and there, and then it would crash. And I'm like, uh... I did eventually figure out how to, like, uh... play YouTube and uh, watch uh, or play YouTube while I sleep while I sleep also I have like a Charizard now and like I evolved it from a Charmeleon I just started I tr I used a like a uh, master cookie on a Charmeleon And was able to, and got a Charmeleon. I named her, uh, named him Lizra. And now he's a Charme, Char like a Charizard. And I'm like, oh yay! Normally I don't like Charizard, but I will make an exception with Lizra. Uh, Spiffin, the orb, the, the orb of magic looks to be positively perf, perf, positioned perfectly, and with that, the tower is complete. Uh, soon we have shall have a legendary weapon under our command. I do, knew that His Majesty's bloodline would provide some uh, benefit. If what the legends say about the Kazapple can is true, it would allow anybody, be they human or monster, to wield one of the most powerful spells of his, in history. By the way, K uh, KB, I saw you and His Majesty speaking in hushed tones a little earlier. What topic were you discussing that necessitated such secrecy? It is only natural that a king should have his secrets. It is a position of much responsibility and doubtless much pressure too. But is there any truth so sensitive that a king must keep it from his own people? The people he pledged to shepherd through life storms? I know not. Goddess be praised, the second tower is complete at last. All that remains is to build the final tower and to provide the energy to power it. We must combine the might of every man and woman in Moonbrook. Right you are! Come, my subjects, raise your hands and offer your strength. Spirit Bomb! Gadzooks, the tower is positively brimming with energy. Huzzah! We are one step closer to completing the Kazapple Cannon. Can't wait to give Atlas a taste of his own medicine. Indeed, our first battle uh, uh, approaches. Fast approaches. KB, please do the honors and drop a design for the main tower. Man, good thing I didn't build here. Good thing I didn't build here. Uh, 
Uh. Whatever. Fine work, Gibby. This blueprint looks like it will make for a sound and sturdy platform for our ultimate weapon. Why couldn't it be a little far closer to the back? Did it. Did they expect everybody just to build their armory on the inside? Once the emplacement is complete, the Gazapo cannon itself will rest safely upon it, ready to blast anyone foolish enough to attack us. And then, by the goddess's will, we shall be able to defeat uh, Mighty Atlas himself. What say now, Anessa? Now that the victory is within our grasp, do you still believe we are fated to fight forevermore? Remember, Warwick, that pride comes before a fall. I shall not speak to her chances of winning the peace until it is won. Honestly, Anissa. Gadzooks, now is not the time for pointless sophist sophistry. We have a uh, gazapple canter to construct. Moonbrook's time is almost at hand. With this weapon, we shall break free of our fate and, and end this accursed war once and for all. Raise a cheer, friends. Hip hip huzzah. <laughs> KB, it seems I need. We need another special item to complete the Gazapple Cannon. The Orb of Heroes. Ah, yes, I do not wish to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid that the artifact rests in the heart of its hell itself. Dreaming it will be no easy feat. Hell itself, you say? I dare say, Anessa and I alone shall not suffice this time. We need to muster a small army. Your Majesty, I believe the time has come to entrust KB with our newly built war banner. The soldiers of Moonbrook shall march under one flag. Indeed, KB, the banner is yours. May it serve you well in this quest to retrieve the Orb of Heroes. KB attends a war obtains a war banner. With that war banner, you can lead our entire army. With the, you at the vanguard, I know you cannot fall. Uh, brandishing this banner is no different to wielding a weapon, but simply having it equipped it is enough to rally our soldiers to, our, to your side. Should you swing the flag as you would a sword, it will inspire the warriors around you, making them fight all the harder. Forming a spinning slice, meanwhile, will rally an army to your side. They should already be gathered around you. It will give them an uh, order to stand down. Ah, uh, but what use is all this blathering when you could just try it for yourself? Go, Kibi. Equip the war banner and wield it at will. The war banner equipped. Press and hold Y to charge up your energy, then release the button to summon soldiers to your side. Uh, repeat the process to disband them. I think I will join you. Smashing display, KB. You swing that war banner like a seasoned standard bearer. Standard bearer. I had hoped Anessa would be the one to lead my army into battle, but I see now that you are far more worthy of the role. Now, with the full military might of Moonbrook at your back, you can fill his, mis his majesty's request and lead the charge into the heart of hell itself. I shall march at your side, so long as we are together, we have nothing to fear. What's that? Mauroth would want to come to? Can we not release him from the dungeon? Forgive me, but the seeds of distrust, once sown, are not so easily weeded out. His presence would only cause problems. Now is not the time, but it will be soon, I promise. Well then, it seems y'all your preparations are in order. It is time to reveal what I know about the Orb of Heroes and its whereabouts. It's time for you to find the final piece in this puzzle, the Orb of Heroes. I know uh, where you can find it. Alas, it isn't the nearest thing to hell that this accursed world has. Uh, Renderak. All I'm pain and suffering this realm seeps from Renderak. To gaze upon this wretched place is to know the greatest depths of despair. The fate of our realm rests upon your shoulders, brave KB. Let lead my army into the darkness and bring back the light. Your Majesty, is it really wise to send our entire military force on this expedition? What of the castle? Who will protect the people while the army is away? Anessa, you don't just, uh, you didn't, don't just, bleh. You don't, uh, want us to win this war, do you? If we hope to ever see peace again, we must prevail in this mission, and for that, we need every soldier we've got. Get yeah, Zooks, when you put it like that, you leave me no choice. I have, you have my sword. I may not be much to look at, but there's, uh, life in this old dog yet. 
It is then decided. Ready the war banner, KB. Uh, lead the troops into Renderek and cover the Orb of Heroes. the room. Oh well. Uh. Okay, this way. I don't. There's no glow glue. Glow glow go. Not really a close, uh... Oh wow, that is a whole army. Oh, look, it's marble. Anyways, I'm gonna need... Uh... God damn it. killed him. God damn it. Huh. 
Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Am I there yet? <laughs> Goomans, what are you going doing here? You're not planning on going into that cave, are you? Leads all the way to the place called Renderac, though most people just call it hell. So scary that it makes your knees wibble and wobble. At least that's what I've heard. I, wib I wobble too oozily as it is, so I've never been there myself. But if you insist on gooing, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I might even pray to Hargon that your deaths won't be too gruesome. Oh, thank you, Slime. Oh. Got a flurry feather. I didn't mean to do that. This tunnel should be lead straight to Renderak. I have a bad feeling about this. This whole place rigs of monsters and vicious ones to boot. Indeed, have your warbender equipped and ready, KB. We must not take any chances. Uh, equip the... Each stronger than the last. Okay. Wow, they look pretty. Uh. Uh, they look pretty dead to me. Thing the multi heals multi heal. Someone's almost dead. Someone died. Okay, that. No, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. Oh wow, laser beams. Fire his laser. I had plans, big plans. Oh, tasty. KB's level increased. Okay, level 29. Magic shield. Reduces fire and ice damage. Monsters are defeated. Get yeah, Zooks! That was a fierce fight, and we haven't even arrived in Renderek yet. We'll have, be lucky to make it there back in one pe- Oh, there's someone dead. It's all, is all the matter, KB? You seem distracted. You're wondering what Malroth is doing at this moment? Not much, I imagine. He is locked in the dungeon, after all. Someone's dead. <laughs> oh, mighty Malroth. 
Master of Destruction. What level of purgatory is this? Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? Thought the Builder was your friend, but she has betrayed you. She has left you to rot in this dungeon. I mean, I don't have a key. There's not much I can do. Because honestly, I'd just be like, yo, I'm not leaving this man. Any day now. No, you're wrong. She... She just... Oh my, Maroth, do you still not see the truth? Huh. The Builder is an agent of creation, and you are the master of destruction. There can be no harmony between you. Any day now, game. Probably the worst part of this game is how slow the text is. How many times do I have to tell you? You've got it. Uh, you've got the wrong guy. I'm not some master of destruction, okay? Like, yeah, he can't create anything, but that's okay. Then why is it you cannot build? Why did the mirror that reveal all things true, true form reflect not but a void? It's because it's his dream. <laughs> And that scared people. Do not deny the truth. Free yourself from this torture. Ooh, getting saucy here. I do believe he can get out of this. Destroy, almighty Maroth. Destroy all around you and embrace your true existence. I should probably play more Dragon Quest games. Like 1, 2, and 3. You are a god. You must be a... And you may be a god again. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Get out of my head. KB. KB, are you alright? Oh. Pull yourself together, woman. You're almost at a uh, render act. Uh. This way, huh? People are slowly recovering. Oh. Oh. I got like... I'm like trying to find a... Uh... Oh my. I'm like trying to find the way forward and I can't see it. All I see is a dead end. Ooh, nice experience. Fight, fight, fight for me. Fight, fight, fight for me, weaklings. these robots
Fight, 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 keep fighting. Fight, 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 keep fighting. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. Oh, god damn it. Only I'm the one <laughs> like all the NPCs, they can at least they at least smart enough to move out of the way. Most of the time. Meanwhile, I'm just like, let me just dump my ass forward. Right into their attack. Let me eat that tasty, tasty attack. Full brunt of it. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Renderak, more like, uh, I don't know. Blast! How come... How have we come to a dead end? Perhaps not. It seems that this wall is entirely of ice. You should be able to break it th easily enough, right, KB? Uh... Oh, for sure. Where are we? Um, where are we? Gadzooks, this is Renderak. Is it? It is not at all what I was expecting. Is this a trick? An illusion? Something tells me there are monsters about. Let's continue onward, but be on. Your guard, everyone. New destination. Give me that ice. Huh. Are you humans? You seem a bit different to, to all the others around. Isn't this place lovely? Just like being in a dream. But I suppose that's the best thing about living in an illusion. An illusion? What in the world do you mean by that? What, uh, you didn't think this world was real, did you? It's all a dream. From the magical talking trees to the pubs made from solid gold. But it's, it'll all be gone soon. Illusions can't last forever, so this world will fade away to nothing before long. What What are you saying? Saying that this place isn't real. It's a dream, dreamed up by all my Hargon to try to trick the three signs of Erdrick. Hargon built it? But the Scions... Look, look, look! If you want to know more, the castle at the back of the valley is your best bet. Place is a paradise for people who just want to sit back and enjoy the illusion. Mm, I haven't the foggiest said idea what this means, but perhaps we should do as the creature says. I sense even more monsters in that direction. KB, let us investigate. Okay. Hello, Sir Cyclops. This place so pretty. Pity it all go away soon. Very sad, but I stay till the end. We all stay is rule. Is how things must be.
Got Dukes. Look at the size of that castle. Hmm. It's certainly very impressive, but what in the world is it doing here? Popping into place very slowly. Well, there's only way one way to find out. Forward. I'll take that. Yahoo! Comfy killer pillar head. Kaby learns a new recipe. <laughs> uh, a surmounting segment of a uh, snug sofa shaped like a lethal larva can be sat on. Which means there's probably more around. A comfy caterpillar tail. Oh, new recipe. The, the rest of the body. Oh, the posterior piece of a snug sofa shaped like a lethal larva. Too lazy to look for like the set, the rest of the bit or the thing. Looks so lovely from far away. Can see all of lovely Renderac and all of lovely Middenhall Castle too. If you want to know the truth, you must look closer. If you do, it not look so lovely anymore. Okay. Ooh. Doggy. <laughs> Pet the doggy. Huh. Mid Hall welcome thee, friend. But wait, is this not his royal highness the prince? I see before me. Welcome home, your highness. I beg thee pardon. Thou art to come to vanquish the high priest Hargan, but thou art in fair Middenhall castle, friend. And besides, wherefore would thou wish to destroy one so benevolent to see? Thou art hot headed indeed. Oh, Hargon, mighty Hargon, thou art so very handsome and bold. Uh, would that we sh could share. Eek, prithee, forget all that I said. I know that one as great as he would never stoop so as lowly as myself. Sniff. <laughs> the shame of it all, I know not what possessed me. That I should have thought to harm one so blameless as uh, the high priest Hargon. Everyone this castle is acting jolly, uh, peculiar. What is it wrong with them? They all have the same dull, vacant stare as though they've been enraptured by some sort of vis vision. Our mission remains the same. We need to find the Orb of Heroes. Let us pr press on inside the castle and continue the search. I forgot we were searching for that, actually. Good day to thee. I'm Mariella, entrusted now with the conduct of His Majesty's Affairs in his uh, former Chancellor's stead. It's my duty to brighten the throne room and to otherwise embrace this precious new era of peace. Wouldst thou see me dance? Verily, tis a sight to pull, I promise thee. Thou shalt come to love me more than ever thou did that stuffy and overseer's chancellor. He he he. What? Ho ho ho, welcome home. I had the fear that thy company had come to grief in in an attempt to slay Hargon about whom we were so mistaken. 
But thou art returned unharmed, barely to further proof, if such were needed of Hargon's boundless mercy. Ye, ye as a brother did he great me, uh, and fully gladly did I serve him. Pray forget the quest uh, I did entrust to thee. Twas folly to entreat these two. Twas folly, folly, that didn't even sp speak like the king. Folly, 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 folly. <laughs> Ooh, everybody disappeared because it's an illusion, yada yada. Gadzooks, they just disappeared. <laughs> huh. Just as these puppets cease to exist, soon so shall you. It's your destiny as it is ours. All things be they illusions or they li be or they lies must come to an end. None can say when this annihilation will come. But one thing is for certain: there is no escape. The day of destruction approaches, and none can escape it. What uh, the Dickens are you pr prowling on about, Fiend? Speak some sense. Allow me to explain uh, in more simple terms. The castle was created by my Almighty Hargan, and now it is will appear as your grave. Gadzooks to arms, everyone. At long last, the ha hated, hated, hated humans shall fall. Except for you, my most faithful disciple. You have proven yourself one of us. Come, take your rightful place at my side. Yeah, I figured. I am so smart. Warwick, how could this be? I told you he was a fucking coward. To fracture friendships, weaken the military, and ensure the construction of the Zapple Cannon that it might eventually fall into the monster's hands. That was my mission, and though I encountered many difficulties along the way, I have finally achieved my every aim. <laughs> he also doesn't have, like, a color. <laughs> it was you this whole time. You were the spy among our ranks. But why, Warwick? Why would you betray us? Like this, you traitor. Traitor? Me? Ha, you are the ones who, are be who betrayed all I believed in. I am the only man of Moonbrook who holds true to the children of Hargon's teachings. Not like you faithless curs. <laughs> well, ha, ha you have done well work, and just as you were promised, you shall be rewarded. Come, join us as a monster. Yes, finally, I have attained monsterhood. Thank you, Iki. Thank you. Mahaha, well, fly my pretty. Tear these traitors limb from limb. Bathe in the, the blood of the builder and her uh, pathetic companions. Warwick and Rector, the traitor and his hateful handler. Uh, you can stop following me, actually. Ow. Kinda hard. Excuse me, sir, you seem to have no more. Oh my god. I don't think my boyfriend would be able to call that plot twist. Though I was th starting to think, like, was it the king? Like, who did I give the, uh, the Mirror of Ra to? All my plans ruined. Monsters are defeated. Phew, I thought uh, they had us for a moment there, but somehow we pulled through. Warwick? Warwick? Eek, eek, this world, this lie, cannot last. It matters not who wins this accursed war. We all die. Every one of us. What lie? What are you talking about, Warwick? One day, eek, eek, I realized this is all an illusion. I tried to speak with his majesty. I pleaded with him but he refused to listen. 
This is uh, when the rector came to me. Said that uh, he would save me from death. Eek, 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 if I could earn it. My KB arrived and rang that bell. Eek. Saw that my chance had come. My opportunity to prove myself worthy. Warwick, you. Children of Hargon are eek. Absolute. So is my belief. I would die to protect their teachings. No, you, Anessa, you never believed. You spoke of heartfelt convictions and sacred duties. But it was all a lie. Eek, keek. Never fail, and so shall you. Our human can stand against all my Atlas. Struggle if you wish, eek. You all perish in the end. Eek, 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 eek. Hail Hargon, eek, eek, Warwick. Warwick. Rip Warwick. Hmm, look, KB, the rector still breathes. Looks like he's still, and he's carrying something. Okay. Wahaha! -ha. Well fought, humans. It seems I underestimated you. As they all do. But no matter, doomsday draws near. This world of illusion shall soon cease to be. If only I could have destroyed you by my own hand before that day came to pass. Still, it would seem that victory shall yet be ours. Pathetic humans. Were you truly fool enough to rally your whole army behind this builder? It seems that you were. So your castle is practically undefended. You may be but an illusion, but you shall all be slain nonetheless. Mohaha. I I cannot fathom it. What in the world happened here? In this castle? Just illusion, are we? Get Zooks. Hey, baby, look what he dropped. Could it be? Orb of Heroes. Of course. Is it the Orb of Heroes? Seems our expedition was a success. But at what cost? The director's final words about the castle's defenses do not sit well with me one bit. Forgive me, I was a million miles away. The director spoke of Moonbrook's defenses. That does not bode well at all. We must return to the castle without delay. Um. Yeah. Oh my. I'll have to come back here. Ah, uh, there's... I have to go this way. Sorry, Moonbrick, but the orb matters more. I completely missed it. Okay. This way. Oh, a bench. Oh. Okay. Shrine of Renderac. Now I can go to Moonbrook. There's usually something. Gadzooks, the castle's in danger. Is this all part of Warwick and the Rector's plans? Quickly, Gibi, we must go to the people's defenses.
underhanded fiends. Is it the work of that traitor Warwick? Do you tell uh, the monsters that the castle is undefended? If we move swiftly, the castle can still be saved. Hurry. KB, we must uh, slay these dragons post haste. But the battle commence. Excuse me, game. Dread Dragon, the Scaly Squadron Superior. Whoops. I'm just gonna do one damage. Soldiers all return to KB's side. Uh, base integrity is 89 percent. Oh god, I'm star. Oh, I'm starving. Find these, fight these Lizzies. I feel like these fireballs are too realistic for. Ow. Only I got hit. Should help him. A little bit. That should help too. Victory! KB! We won! We saved Moonbrook from destruction! Oh, KB, my lamb! You saved us all! God be praised! You would come back for us. When those loathed them some lizards, blah. Lizards turned up. I thought my time finally was finally up. That the dinner bell was ringing once more. Thank goodness you uh, got here when when you did. Uh, well done, soldiers of Moonbrook. Not only did you return to slay the dragon that assaulted us, but you did so with the orb of heroes in hand. But it seems not all of you are accounted for. What has become of dear Warwick? KB, before we get begin to explain that ugly business, let us first turn our minds to the state of our castle's home. Those dash dragons certainly did a number on our defenses. It will be no small feat to get everything back as it was. But fear not, we have more than enough, uh... Why is there always one of one person standing on top of the fire? Is he that cold? Uh, but fear not, we have more than enough practice rebuilding these walls. You may leave the repairs to in our capable hands. <laughs> not everything was restored. I see, so young Warwick was the traitor among us. He was so afraid of death that he was, pre was prepared to do anything to escape it. Even side with the monsters against his own kind. Uh. Fool. The damned fool. Inessa, I think it's time that you told his majesty the truth. That from the very beginning you have never subscribed to the teachings of children of Paragon. Mm -hmm. What? KB, from the moment you made the anecdotal herb and saved my life, I realized that our chance to defeat the children of Paragon had finally come. Uh. 
However, even the time I held suspicions that the enemy spies had infiltrated our ranks, I had to uh, hide my true allegiances. Anessa has been committed to overthrowing the monster's rule since long before you arrived in Moonbrook. This is why she sent me to infiltrate their army. Wanted to tell you the truth, KB, but uh, when you recover the wizard's workstation, something uh, His Majesty said gave me pause. The enemies have eyes everywhere. Uh, did I say those words? I meant nothing profound by them, I assured you. I must admit, you had me completely fooled. There's something else, Your Majesty. Before our Warwick passed, he said something about our world being a lie, though I know not what he meant by it. I see. Mayhap he thought that by betraying his own and joining them with the monsters, the truth would uh, be revealed to him. KB, I wish to learn more of what transpired in Renderak. Come, I must speak with you alone. For quite some time, I have devoted myself to re reading everything in Mo of Moonbrook's history and attempting to put uh, together my scattered memories. Now, based on your account of what uh, you saw in Renderak, I believe I arrived at a theory. Uh, though perhaps this is not the most fitting place for discussion. Come, F KB, follow me. Can we let, uh, can we let Maroth out? Nope. I'm just gonna be here holding a column. To hear you say it, uh, Renderak was not so much a hell as it was a heaven. Seems this world is not the one you once knew, nor the one of which only fragments remain in my clouded memories. Could this be some manner of parallel reality? An alternate dimension, or perhaps no more than an illusion, conjured by one who yet resides in the real world. Whatever the case, I suspect that this world was created to serve a purpose. And if it is true that the illusion will soon fade, perhaps that purpose is close to being fulfilled. Warwick was convinced that this world was a lie and w would one day re be reduced to oblivion. In his desperation to be spared that fate, he joined forces with the monsters. If only I had listened to him. If only I had offered him a warm embrace, not a cold shoulder. As his king, he was my responsibility, and I failed him. KB, I have built one, or I have but one question I want to, you to answer. Is the world you knew uh, what became of the da my daughter? Does the princess lead a safe and happy life, or... That is not- that is a relief. I may have failed as a king, but at least I did not fail as a father. KB, one matter still puzzles me. You're not a part of this land of illusion. You came here from the real world, but for what purpose? If it was not uh, by mere chance that you wandered into this world, that but you were summoned, then your presence here may have a more profound meaning than you realize. KB, I have made up my mind. I will see the children of Hargon defeated, even if our reality should crumble the very next day. Time grows short. We must complete the Kazapple Cannon without delay. this back here. What in the world? Where did this come from? I swear. Uh... Oh! I didn't really do anything. Can I visit? 
Boy, Gov, get away from them gates. Sorry, mate, but no one's allowed near the cell. Not even you. I know you're worried about your mate and all, but he'll be alright. He'll be out before you know it, you see. Oh. They drug me out this way. The game knew. Oh, Anissa. Third and final tower of our ultimate weapon is complete. Now all that remains is the cannon itself. KB, you were speaking with his majesty for some time. I cannot help but wonder what you were discussing. But more than that, it, it has made me think of all the things I should have told you, but did not. Please forgive my dishonesty. I'm sure you have many questions for me, too, but uh, let me, uh... Let us leave such talk for later. We are not ready... We are not out of the woods yet. We must prepare for our final battle to do the honors and lay out a blueprint for the final part of the Gazapple Cannon. We'll be positioned atop the central tower, yes? Uh, time is of the essence, builder. Drop your design, we shall see it all built. Okay. Zapple Cannon Blueprint. A lot of castle wall. By Jove! Your blueprints keep getting better and better, KB. This cannot. This cannon is a true marvel. Once the Orb of Heroes is pl in place, we will be able to blast our enemies with the bolts of incredible magic energy. Even uh, Atlas will not be able to withstand it. KB. Here she comes. We have prepared all the necessary materials for completing the blueprint. Castle wall blocks, castle corners, even castle column pedestals. Everything you need to build this cannon. Atlas may strike at any time. We uh, haven't a moment to lose. We must see this blueprint completed as swiftly as we can. Truth be told, KB, I've admired builders ever since I was a child. It was this thing that made me reject the children's unholy teachings. Maybe who I am today. There's no sense in hiding it any longer. I too shall join you in completing this blueprint and building the Kazapple Cannon. <laughs> Come, men and women of Bloom Roombrook, we have work to do. Blah blah blah. They're <laughs> like. Y'all do that. I am... Going to do this thing called, uh, sleep. I love how everybody's just dropping down like I do. Like, boom! Fall damage. Boom! Broken legs, but they walk it off. I shall cook the potatoes. Potato. Um, and some crab. Well, they do all the work for me. Oh. Don't hate me, Malroth. I just I just was like, oh, what does his reflection look like? I don't, will it show him as the monster? No, it's just nothing at all. Figures though. Huh. Kind of just ended up in a world of illusions. 
Uh, me, Lulu, and... Me and Lulu. Maloth is kind of part of the illusion, I think. Because he's obviously a monster. That was fast. Huzzah! The Kazapple Cannon is complete. At long last, we have the power to overcome Atlas. Told you before, KB, that is my faith in the children of Hargon was unshakable. That was my heart... That it was my heartfelt conviction to fight forevermore. That is a lie. Foundations of Moonbrook Castle were laid by a builder who came to this very... This isle of very... Many years ago, by the time I was born, the children of Hargon teachings had already spread far and wide. Builders were seen as harbingers of chaos and war. But one day I looked up at this fine, majestic fortress, and a great joy welled within me. I dreamed of creating such incredible structures myself. And since that day, the children of Hargon were my sworn enemy. I pledged to overthrow them and become a builder, like the one who had inspired me. That was my true conviction. Warwick had a heartfelt conviction, too. His beliefs were not his own. They were imposed on him by the children of Hargon. I believe that uh, true conviction comes from within. It is something that you make for yourself. Uh, it is not something that can be imposed on you by others. <laughs> ah, it feels good to finally get off, uh, that all off my chest. It was finally hard. It was so hard uh, hiding how I really felt for so long. Forgive me, KB. No matter how much I wanted to lay the children of Hargon low, I should not have lied to you. I swear that I shall not do so again. Okay. Ha ha ha, forgive me, KB. Once again, I begin to, to unburden myself. I cannot stop my mouth from moving. People call me stubborn. They say I'm a stickler for rules and regulations, but I never believed in the teachings of the children of Hargon. I just had long ago fallen in love and with building, forbidden though it was. Warwick, on the other hand, was unshakable in his belief, so much so that it led him to his own ruin. Father of us was the stubborn one. It was him. Ah, uh, just listen to me going on again. Come on, can we just time first? Time for the grand finale. All you need to do is place the orb heroes upon the dais on the central tower and the Kazapple cannon will be complete. Okay. How do I get up there again? Other I only remember uh I only remember getting off by breaking my legs. Oops. Uh, okay. It's not to the time to use that yet. Oh, okay. Potato, potato. I'll just wait for them to come to me. However long that may be. I think they forgot. I better go see them. Get back here, girl. It's done, KB. Now that the Orb of Heroes is in place, the Gazapple is complete. Uh, long have I dreamed of seeing the legendary weapon in action. And thanks to you, KB, I shall have the opportunity to witness the Gazapple cannon firing my, with my own two eyes. Thank you. She really did a 180. Hmm. Oh, cool. Can we let Malroth go? Well, I guess. 
By the goddess, I've never seen such power. Ho ho ho. Let us all join around the communal toilet. This is the true power of the Gazapple Cannon. See, so this, the energy that we've all poured into the two uh, charging towers has been gathered into the orb of heroes, ready to fire at our enemies. Even a normal hulking monstrosity like Atlas won't be able to withstand a direct hit from this thing. Yeah, all we have to do now is wait for this fool to fall into our trap. Hmm? What is it, KB? We stand in the threshold of a victory, so why do we, you wear such an aggrieved expression? Can we have Malroth? What? You are not for slaying at Al Atlas. You are o you're only you only wish to see uh, you care not for slaying Atlas. You only wish to see your friend freed. But of course, the matter has entirely slipped my mind. Of course, it has. KB, you know all too well that Malroth and I have our differences. But I want you to know that neither I nor His Majesty any desire to see your friend imprisoned. Warwick was the one who convinced His Majesty that Malroth was a danger. Meant to divide us, and where it worked. Of course, the matter with Ra's mirror did not help his defense. But I should not make excuses. I may not have urged Malroth's incarceration, but neither did I argue against it. I beg your f forgiveness, KB. Hmm, you say that if I should beg the forgiveness of anybody, it is Malroth? Yes, I suppose you're right. Here, take this. Key. It is the key to the dungeon. Go ahead and set your friend free. Yay! Arras! Oh, it's you! Oh, it's you. So you finally decided to let me out, have you? What happened? Uh, so you built a massive magical cannon. Now the major general of the monsters is on his way over to destroy us all. Ha ha ha! Are you serious? There's a big baddie coming along, so now you decided to let me out of my cell? Leave me locked away down here, never even dropping to buy to say hello, and now that you're in trouble, you come for my help? You're disgusting, KB. Bro, they wouldn't let me see you. What? What else do you want? Mm -hmm. Shut up, okay? Just shut up. I've had enough of your excuses. Mm. Oh, for crying out. Anyone would think you're the one whose best friend betrayed them. Malroth. Even though Warwick sowed the seeds of doubt in my mind, I should not have stood by what this wrong was done to you. For that, I am truly sorry. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have let those soldiers die at Munahan. Sure, you did all you could to save them. For my part, I should not have taken out my anger on you. It, is, it was not your fault. Well, I'm still sorry about it. AKB. I'll help you beat Atlas. But after that, we're done. Mm -hmm. You build a dungeon to lock me away and only let me out when you need my help. That's low. I suppose it makes sense, though. Why would a builder like you care about a guy like me who can only destroy stuff? I thought we could be friends, but I guess I was wrong. You and me, KB. We're through. Oh. My heart. I'm glad that Malaroth is finally free, but what of your friendship? I can hardly believe that you two would uh, go your separate ways. When you arrived on this island, you seemed inseparable. This anger cannot last. Friendship like yours is not s so easily sundered. It may take some time, but this wound will heal. I shall do everything in my power to help. Thank you. What was that? Actual... Bro, I didn't know I was making the dungeon for you. I, I swear. <laughs> Only when I was done, I was like, "Oh, he's gonna lock me away because I'm a builder." Oh, well, it's kind of eepy time. So I should definitely save successful. God, my heart cannot take anymore. <laughs> I want to cry, I'm so emotional.
One of these days. Anyways, this has been Komodo Brownie playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. We are near the end. Of something, I don't know. Oh. Oh, buddy. I don't even know, man. Anyways, talk to y'all another time. Bye-bye.